All right, guys. So today we're gonna learn some techniques from mount position. But before we go for the for the techniques, we need to learn how to maintain the mount position. Okay. So doesn't matter what what mount position that I'm doing. If you come from side control one, two, and three. Okay. Just quick review here. Side control one. We are here. Lean my head forward. Find the space. Lower mount position. Same thing. Side control two. Hands together. Shut down his hip, lower mount position. Same thing, side control three. Mount, lower mount position. Why lower mount position? Because that's the part of his body you're gonna use after getting mount position, you're gonna use most to try to hip scape and bridge. That's, that's a fact, you can't deny trying to attack the next straight, straight after you get in mount position you will be not resolve the problem because he really gonna put effort to bridge and hip skate, okay? So every time when you get the mount position, one detail that I like to use here, when you bring his foot close and I can't cross my feet under, I kick his legs away and move back and try to go as slow as you can. Now I like to cross my feet or stretch my legs on his chin like that. That's a very common as well. Uh, we see people in competition doing this, those two moves, okay? so. If his ankle's close to his butt, right now in the middle mount, this mount here is not, I don't recommend that for, if you wanna, wanna control, when you wanna uh, stop someone trying to skate. So control the head, low mount or high mount, okay? I'm gonna kick his leg, low mount position, cross my legs, or stretch my, my feet here on his shin, okay? So we got the control my hips as well the way how i drive my hips and curl my hamstring that's how you're gonna put a lot of pressure on his hips not allow him to bridge so easily try to bridge that so i'm shutting out the, the bridge now i will try to find a way to get the underhook but his arms are very nice and strong here so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna open him up controlling with my right arm under his neck and now we will try to set up the ezekiel the ezekiel is one of the simplest uh, and strongest submission from mount position because you don't need to deal with the arms. You're just gonna go straight for the neck. And then if I can get Ezekiel, happy days. If I can get Ezekiel, if I fret him with Ezekiel, he will probably open his elbow. Then I can make the position to, to a higher mount position. I'm gonna show you guys now. So if I can get Ezekiel here, shutting down, you're gonna open his neck. I'm gonna catch the, the sleeve, one of my sleeves for four fingers. Never three, always four. And now I create space, pushing my cheek on his cheek. And I'm gonna connect my hand on his neck. It's not in the right spot yet, but I will start bothering him and moving my wrist like this. That will direct him to react in a way that I'm expecting, which is gonna be the bridge. When he bridge, he open up his neck a little bit more. Then I can go for, for the finish. Okay, one more time. So he's closing the gap. Make sure you keep your feet crossed, shutting down his bridge the whole time. And all my hands on the way. Now look how I'm gonna make space. Push, put my hand there. And I start moving my hand in different direction, kind of digging on his neck. And then I'm gonna bother him when he bridge. I relax a little bit and connect, okay? When I get here, I like to extend and go for the finish. If I can get the submission, good. If I can get the top, it will probably Expose his elbows a little bit, then I can uh, climb to my own position. Okay, this is why I really like to set up the whole whole attack and control with the ZKL because it's one or the other. Or I'm gonna get the top, or uh, he will expose his elbows. Okay, so one more time. So cross my feet. There's no space to attack the arm, to attack anything here. So I'm looking forward to make space to attack his neck. He's really closing the gap. Hold the sleeve. Connect your hand there. Now look my head. I'm going to push. Pull your hand. or start dig your hand inside. That's going to bother him. He don't like this. When he starts, bridge. Big bridge, big bridge. My hand comes through. When it comes through, I'm going to bridge even more. And get the physical chill. Okay, so like I said before, one or the other, every time you come from side control, one, two, three, thinking about shutting down his hips. How are you gonna do that? Come to the lower mount position. We have two ways to control, crossing your feet 
curl your hamstrings. So the move is pretty much this one here. You're gonna push my hips down and curl my hamstring, trying to lift his leg. Okay, so here. Try to lift his leg and put a lot of weight on your hips, on, on his hips. The other way is stretching the legs. If his legs is close to you, you can cross, you cannot kick and go low and cross. And then from there, after really control the mount position, you can, can you can thinking about open him up with Ezekiel. And if you accept the low, the high mount position, you advance the high mount position. From there, you can attack the choke or armbar or any technique you guys prefer.